Let your body relax as much as possible and breathe deeply. Inhaling into the chest, abdomen, and back. Walk your heels mat width apart if they're not already there. Slide your arms halfway between your hips and your shoulders with your palms up towards the sky. Tuck the shoulder blades under to open up the space across the chest and the collarbones. and let your mind relax as much as possible. Notice how your body feels tonight. Notice if there are any muscles that are tight or sore. Try and let them relax as you breathe deeply. And as we move through our practice, we want to feel a stretch. If at any point there's any pain, we can always ease back. And now let's slide the heels together, reach the arms overhead, lengthen the body as much as possible, reaching through the fingertips, pointing the toes, finding length through the spine. Bring your right hand around the left forearm, reach the arms up and over to the right side, keeping the shoulders back and down on the mat, feeling length through the left side of the torso. And let's come back through center and switch our grip. So left hand comes around the right forearm, reach it up and over to the left. Breathe deeply. And then come back to center, bring your arms down to your side. Couple nice deep breaths. Now bring your right knee in towards your chest. Give it a little hug. Gently circle the knee around, gently. Go the opposite direction. And then hug the knee back in towards your chest. Bring the left hand to the right knee or upper shin and we're gonna pull the knee across to the left side. Keep your right shoulder down and the right arm extended out to the side. As you exhale, let that knee and thigh relax a little bit deeper towards the left side of your mat. Bring the knee back up towards center. Bring the right hand behind the right thigh, so the palms on the hamstring, and just gently open the knee down to the right side. So it won't get nearly as close to the mat, that's okay. We'll still be finding length through the right inner thigh. Make sure you keep your left hip and thigh relaxed and grounded on the mat. Bring the knee back to center, pull it in towards your chest. This time, bring the right hand to the top of the right foot. Fingers are wrapping around the edge and we're gonna open up the sole of the foot towards the ceiling. So it's up to you tonight. Again, this is a half happy baby. You can keep that arm on the outside of the right knee or it may be easier to bring the elbow just inside the knee. If you bring the elbow inside the knee, the arm's not in the way 
and will prevent the leg from coming a little bit deeper in towards the chest. But again, totally up to you. We wanna open up the knee just a little bit. So we're feeling a stretch through the inner thigh, maybe the hamstring as well, and maintaining a grounded left thigh and glute. Let's pull the right heel in towards the hip and then lower the leg all the way down to the mat. Take a nice deep breath. Notice the way that right hip and thigh feel versus the left side. And now we'll switch. Starting by bending the left leg, hugging it in towards the chest, a couple circles each direction. Notice how that hip feels today. Depending on what activities you've done the last couple days, your glutes might be tight or sore, same with your hip flexors. Um, if we do a lot of sitting or driving, those tend to get very tight. So let's pull the left knee in towards the chest now. Right hand on the upper shin or left knee and pull the left leg over to the right side. So you really want to move gently, keeping the left shoulder grounded on the floor, feeling that stretch through the left hip and the upper outer thigh. Gentle spinal twist, warming up the spine, creating a little bit more mobility. And let's release, bring the knee back to center. And we're gonna switch our left hand. Now is going to hold on to the leg, bringing it behind the left thigh. So just a gentle support as we open the left leg down towards the mat. The knee is still going to remain bent about 90 degrees, maybe a little bit less. Just feeling a gentle stretch through the inner thigh while our right leg is down and relaxed. Good, let's bring the knee back to center, pull it in towards the chest. And again, we're going to walk the left hand up the leg to the foot. You can keep the arm on the outside or you can actually bring it to the inside as well. So the palm is on the top of the foot. The fingers are wrapped around the outside edge and we're opening up the knee slightly, bringing the sole of the foot towards the ceiling. So one side may be tighter than the other. Maybe your foot is facing the wall in front of you. That's totally fine. As long as you're feeling that stretch through the inner thigh and maybe the hamstring as well. Again, we don't wanna feel any pain. We don't want our hips popping off the mat. So as long as we can keep that right leg relaxed, we're working towards the, prop, the posture. Take one more full breath here. And then on your next exhale, bring the heel towards the glute, hug the left knee in towards the chest, lift the right leg up, hug it in as well, and gently rock side to side, massaging the back. And then cross the ankles, tuck the chin, roll along the length of your spine. So maybe three or four times. And then come up to a seated position, cross your ankles, let your knees drop down towards the outside edges of your mat and roll your shoulders back and away from your ears. Sit up nice and tall, shoulders over hips, ears over shoulders, and just breathe. Gently lower your chin towards your chest. And then gently roll the left ear towards the left shoulder. So find some length through the right side of the neck. You should feel a stretch under the ear. And now pick the right hand up off your lap, flex the hand, press away through the palm slowly. So we'll feel that stretch intensify as we begin to straighten out the elbow. So we're lengthening those muscles that get tight and put pressure on the nerve that runs along the length of the forearm. So um, when you have carpal tunnel syndrome, those muscles are pressing too tightly and too intensely on that nerve. So we need to lengthen them and loosen them. If you spend a lot of time at a computer or driving, this can get aggravated. So this is a nice stretch to do throughout the day. So let's bring our head back to center, lower the right hand to the lap, chin to the chest and opposite side, right ear towards right shoulder. 
first find that neck stretch, breathing deeply throughout. And then let's lift the left hand up, flex the wrist, press away through the palm. One side might feel a little bit different than the other. That's okay. If it's too intense, bend the elbow back off a little bit. Good. All right. Bring the hand back to the lap, chin to the chest, lift your head up, and we'll interlace the knuckles. Reach the hands out away from your body, round the back, and drop the chin towards the chest. Lift the head back up, roll the shoulders back, bring the hands behind you now, interlacing the fingers again. Roll the shoulders back and together, open the chest, look upwards, reaching your thumbs away from the tailbone. Take a deep inhale and a full exhale. Excellent. Release the hands, place the left hand on the mat next to your hip, right arm up, and let's just gently lean to the left, finding length through the right side of the body. Come through center, right hand down to the mat, left arm up and reach to the right. Excellent. Let's come through center. And we're going to rotate onto our hands and knees. So spread the fingers wide, place the palms under the shoulders, the knees under the hips. And let's move with our breath. Exhale, arch the back, draw the chin towards the chest. Inhale, round the spine, look upwards. So exhale, arch. Inhale, round. Exhale. And inhale. Excellent. Let's come into downward facing dog, lifting up through the tailbone, rooting down through the heels, rotating the creases of the elbows forward. Press through the heels and find that length in the back of the leg, stretching the calves and hamstrings. Maybe you can pedal the heels and intensify the stretch on one leg at a time. Our head and neck should be relaxed, so you can gently look side to side, up and down, just subtly reminding the muscles along the neck and jaw, just relax. And now let's walk our toes forward, coming into our forward fold, tuck the chin towards the chest, look towards your knees. Again, this is still a warm up, so don't worry about how far your hands are reaching just yet. We're just breathing into it, feeling that length in the back side of the body. And let's begin to round up, stacking the back, coming all the way up into mountain pose, rolling the shoulders back and away from your ears, standing up tall, breathing deeply to your nice open chest. <sighs> Excellent. All right. Feet under the hips, toes pointing forward. Let's do a couple sun salutations, moving with our breath. Inhale, exhale, palms together at the center of our chest. Inhale, lift the arms up, gently arch back. Exhale, forward fold, fingertips down to the mat. Bend your knees a little bit if you need to. Inhale, right leg back, knee down, foot flat, look up. Curl the right toes and exhale, left leg back to plank. Draw your abs in. Inhale, exhale, lower, knees, chest, and forehead to the mat. Inhale, slide forward, press through the palms, lift the chest. Exhale, curl the toes, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg forward, left knee down, foot flat. And exhale, left leg forward, feet together, look at your knees. Inhale, arms up, gently arch back. And exhale, release, arms by the sides. Inhale, exhale, palms together. 
Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold, fingertips to the mat. Inhale, left leg back, knee down, foot flat, look up. Curl the toes, exhaling, right leg back to plank. Inhale, exhale, lower, knees, chest, and forehead, or chaturanga. Inhale, slide forward, press through the palms, lift the chest. Exhale, curl the toes, hips up, downward dog. Inhale, left foot forward, right knee down, foot flat. And exhale, right leg forward, feet together, look at your knees. Inhale, arms up, gently arch back. Exhale, release, arms by the sides. Inhale, exhale, palms together. Inhale, arms up, gently arch back. Exhale, forward fold, fingertips down to the mat. Inhale, right leg back, knee down, foot flat, look up. Curl the toes, exhaling, left leg back to plank. Inhale, exhale, lower, knees, chest, and forehead. Inhale, slide forward, press through the palms, lift the chest. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right leg forward, left knee down, foot flat. And exhale, left leg forward, feet together, look at your knees. Inhale, arms up, gently arch back. Exhale, release. Inhale, exhale, palms together. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left leg back, knee down, foot flat, look up. And curl the toes, exhaling, right leg back to plank. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, slide forward, lift the chest. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left foot forward, right knee down, foot flat. And exhale, right leg forward, feet together, look at your knees. Inhale, arms up, gently arch back. Exhale, release, arms by the side, shoulders back and away from the ears. Take a couple nice deep breaths. Even the breath out. And then we're gonna step wide. So about mat width apart, toes turned out about 45 degrees. We're gonna do some squats to build strength through the lower body, specifically our uh, quads, hamstrings, and glutes. So bring the hands to prayer position at the center of the chest. Roll your shoulders back and away from your ears so we're standing nice and tall. And let's inhale, sinking down into our squat, glancing down, making sure the knees point towards the second or third toe. And as you exhale, press through the outside edge of the foot, come all the way up. So move at your own pace with your own breath. Inhale, coming down. Exhale, lifting back up. Excellent. Nice, steady movement. We shouldn't be speeding through one direction or the other. Every once in a while, glance down, make sure the knees are pointing towards the second or third toe. If you find that they're rolling inwards, we need to work on lengthening the inner thighs to open them up. If they're still not lining up, that's okay. Just adjust the feet accordingly, okay? We really want the knees and feet going the same direction. Excellent, on your next inhale, we're gonna hold it low in our squat, but we're gonna continue breathing. Tonight, we're just gonna bring our hands to the thighs gently, and I'd like you to drop your left shoulder towards the center. So a rotation, bring the left shoulder towards the center, we're going to look over the right shoulder. So a gentle spinal twist while we maintain that squat. Your torso is leaning forward slightly. Let's come back through center, opposite side, right shoulder to the center, roll the left shoulder back, look over the left shoulder. Good, let's come through center, one more each side, left shoulder in, look over the right, keep the hips down and back. Rotate the chest to center and right shoulder to the center. Last time, look over your left shoulder. 
Excellent. Let's come through center. Exhale, come all the way up. Wonderful. Bring the feet together. Maybe shake them out a little bit. Roll the shoulders back. Good. Let's come to the top of our mat. So we're going to move into triangle pose, trikonasana. Let's take our right leg and step back about a stride on our mat. Look down at the placement of our feet. Left heel should point towards the right arch. So perpendicular position of the legs. Arms are extended at shoulder height. Let's inhale. And as we exhale, we're reaching the left fingertips towards the top edge of our mat, towards the left side of the room, and then hinging sideways directly over the left leg, finding length through the inner thigh, through the right side of the torso. And we're gonna feel the waist pinching on the left side because we're folding directly over the leg, not in front of it. Lengthen through the fingertips and breathe. Let's inhale, exhale, press into the soles of the feet, come all the way up. Keep the left foot where it is, rotate the right foot about 45 degrees for revolved triangle. Therefore, we need to rotate the hips, chest and abdomen forward. Inhale again and exhale, right hand comes down this time. So ideally, we're planting the right hand on the mat next to the left arch, but that is an intense stretch. So if you're not quite there today, let's place the fingertips on the mat, maybe the fingertips on the left foot or somewhere along the left shin is fine. The right hand acts as an anchor. So it will help steady the body once we place it along the left leg or on the mat. Use those right fingertips to steady yourself so we can roll the left shoulder back a little bit more. And that's where we get deep into the muscles that run along the outside of the left hip. So soften the knees, not locked, not bent, and feel that length through the left hip, maybe all the way down to the upper uh, calf, the muscles that the IT band connects to. Open up the chest a little bit more to the left side and breathe. Take one more breath. Exhale, press into the feet. So turn on the quads to keep your balance as you lift the torso and arms all the way up. Bring the right arm back to the right side. Excellent. So keep the left foot, left arm exactly where they are. We're just gonna walk our right foot back for warrior two. So we need a nice wide stance, but we're back to that perpendicular foot, left heel towards the right arch. Turn your head, look past your left fingers, inhaling. And as you exhale, bend the left knee. So we're only moving the leg. The shoulders remain stacked over the hips, but the knee is now stacked over the ankle. Glance down. It should be pointing towards the second or third toe. If it's not, open it up. Feel that length come to the inner thigh. Flip the left palm up towards the sky and lift the fingertips up, rotating the right hand back towards the right calf. So keep the lower body in place and we're just opening the chest, getting a little stretch through the left side of the torso. Breathe deeply. Look up towards the left hand. We're building strength through the quads, glutes and calves. Let's take one more breath and then exhale to center and then all the way down to extended side angle. So left forearm to left thigh or left hand all the way down to the mat. Let's place the pinky just inside the left arch if you're bringing the hand down. Right arm is sweeping forward. Our bicep is next to our ear. We're tilting the chin up to look at the right palm creating a nice long line down the right side of the body. So straighten the elbow, reach through the fingertips push down through the pinky side edge of the right foot and breathe. Maybe as you exhale, you can drop your hips a little bit lower into this side lunge, feeling that stretch intensify through the inner thighs. Let's take one more inhale 
And as we exhale, straighten out the left leg, come all the way up, let your arms come down to your sides. Excellent. You should feel some warmth at this point. Let's rotate our left foot so our feet are parallel to one another. Hands remain on the hips and inhale. Exhale, folding forward little by little as we breathe out. When we're halfway down, reach your fingertips down to the mat. Use them as support. Continue to fold forward until you feel that stretch through the back of the body. And again, we're all a little bit different where we're tight or um, you know, where we feel this stretch. So you might feel it lower in the legs. You might feel it lower back tonight. All of that is good. If you want to intensify this, you can continue to fold forward or maybe walk your hands further back on your mat. We'll just tighten that hinge. Or you can walk your feet a little bit wider to make it more intense. If it's already too intense, just do the opposite. Lift the chest up slightly or walk the feet towards one another, narrowing your stance. Totally up to you. Walk your fingertips over towards the right leg. Rotate the chest towards the right thigh. And look towards your knee. Keep the left knee soft. Walk the hands back through center and over towards the left leg. Rotating the chest towards the left thigh. Good, hands back to the center, use them for support. Walk the toes and heels together until the feet are under your hips. And then I want you to soften the knee and just hold this forward fold. So traditional forward fold with the feet under the body. Let the head and neck relax, look towards your legs. Breathe deeply as much as possible. Okay, so I'm gonna turn to my side so you can see my legs. This is one we've done before, but I know some of you are looking at very small screens, so it's a subtle movement. So we already might have soft or semi-bent knees in this forward fold, but I'd like you to really bend your right knee as much as you can while keeping the full foot on the mat. So your left leg remains exactly as is, but let's bend our right leg as much as possible. So. I'm going to kind of turn well, that angle doesn't really help either. <laughs> so you should be looking at your own legs. Left knee is straight, right knee is bent. Both feet are still glued to the mat. So in this forward fold with the right leg bent, if you were to look at yourself in a mirror or if you were to look um, at me head on, you'd see that your left hip is currently higher than your right because the left leg is straight. So by keeping that left hip a little bit higher, we're now shifting the stretch from just the hamstring to now the side and lower back of the left leg. So the muscles that the IT band connects to. The IT band is the longest tendon in the body. It anchors in the lower back and it comes all the way down to the outside of the upper shin, okay? So those muscles that help support us and stabilize us that that tendon connects to get awfully tight. So now let's straighten out our right leg and bend just the left one. Now we'll switch to the right side again. So depending where each one of us are tight and everyone has tight IT bands, but sometimes we'll feel it more here. Sometimes you may feel it more here, okay? Sometimes you feel it the whole length and that's okay too, okay? So just let your body relax. The more you breathe, the more benefit you'll get out of this stretch. Excellent, let's take one more breath. And then gently switch sides. We'll do once more each leg. So bend the right knee, keep the left leg straight. 
Now your body knows what's in store. You can let it relax a little bit deeper. Maybe your palms are coming down to the mat or maybe it's just your fingertips are now reaching. That's fine. If you want to intensify this, you can always grab a hold of the back of your ankles and pull your chest in a little bit deeper. But <laughs> for most of us, it's intense already. So do what feels best. Good, straighten out that right leg. And now bend the left leg, okay? Ease the chest back down towards that left thigh. Look towards your knees. Notice that stretch. So the stretch is in the straightened leg. If you feel it in other places too, that's great. All stretching is good. <laughs> Excellent, let's straighten out the left leg. Soften the knees, round up until your shoulders are over your hips. Then lift your chin off your chest, roll the shoulders back and together. Excellent job. Bring the hands to the hips or the waist. Let's step our right foot forward so our feet are about a stride apart, moving into pyramid pose. Keep the chest lifted, eyes up, inhale. And then as we exhale, we hinge forward, lowering the head neck and chest all at the same time. So we drop our gaze down the wall towards our mats, towards our right toes. Hold it there when the body is parallel to the floor. Relax the quads. They have a tendency to get tight to help keep us balanced, but we really wanna relax them and the kneecaps as much as possible. So find a point to focus on something slightly ahead of your right toes that's not moving. Let's inhale. Next exhale, drop your hands down around the body, down and forward along the right leg. Good, bringing a more intense stretch to the right hamstring. And we've already done quite a bit of leg work um, in our warm up, in our sun salutation, in those squats, um, in our wide leg forward fold, in our last posture. Um, so you might get a little bit deeper tonight or you might feel that stretch sooner than you normally would. Uh, so let's just relax into it a little bit more. And now I'd like you to lift the head, neck, and chest back up so our body is as parallel as much as possible while we keep our fingertips on the mat. Okay, so we have a flat back, but our fingertips are down to ground us. And we're going to lean forward into the right foot and into the fingers so we can peel our left foot off of the mat. Flex the foot, lift the heel up. We're coming into warrior three. If you can, once the left leg is lifted, inch the fingertips off the mat and lift your shoulders slightly to create a straight line along the length of your body from your shoulders or the back of your head all the way down to the left heel. So imagine balancing a glass of water on the lower back. Don't forget to breathe. If you need to keep one or both hands down on the mat tonight, go right ahead. Just work on lifting that leg. Let's take one more nice deep breath. And then with control, lower the left foot down next to the right and lift the chest all the way back up. Shoulders back over the hips, back to mountain pose. Excellent. So let's keep our left foot now on the mat under the left hip, step the right foot back, same thing, opposite side, pyramid pose to begin, hands on the hips, upper body is nice and tall, inhale, exhale, hinge forward, keep the back flat, bring the torso to parallel, soften the quads, let the knees relax, the hamstrings relax, the calves relax. Focus your eyes and continue breathing to maintain your balance.
On your next exhale, begin to round forward, reach your hands down towards your left foot, ankle, or the mat itself. Tuck the chin towards the chest, look towards your knees. And now lift the head, neck, and chest slightly, keeping the fingertips on the mat. Use them for support. Peel the right foot off the mat, flexing it. Lift the heel up in line with the hips. Maybe we can inch the fingertips up, lifting the shoulders as well, keeping the lower back flat, keep lengthening the body, pressing through the right heel. This side may feel different than the first one, so if you want to keep both, or one set of fingertips on the mat, go right ahead. But we do wanna work on our balance. So little by little, we wanna work on lifting them up. Let's take one more breath. And with control, lower the right foot down next to the left and lift the chest all the way up. Excellent job. Okay, let's come back on our mat. We're gonna come all the way down to the floor, coming into our child's pose. Your choice if you wanna do traditional pose with the thighs together, or you can always walk the knees wide, giving your lower back a little bit more space and your torso more space to move into, totally up to you. Arms as well, they can be extended out front, they can be back by your ankles. You can stack one fist on top of the other and rest your forehead on top. Whatever version is the most relaxing. Let's lift our head, neck, and chest up. Walk the knees together if you've kept the, the legs wide. We're gonna keep our left hand on the mat just under our left shoulder, but we're gonna pick up the right hand and thread the needle. So that means back of the right hand to the floor under the chest, slide the right hand over to the left, bringing the right forearm, the right shoulder, the right temple down to the mat. So we want to create some space between our shoulder blades. So reach the right fingertips away. If you're not feeling any stretch through the upper back, you can adjust your hips. So either sit them back a little bit further to create a little bit more length through the muscles along the back, or lift them up higher and reach the fingertips further to the left side of your room. Let's release, press into the left hand, lift the chest, slide that right hand back towards the center of the body, and then place the right hand down on the mat. Left hand, back of the hand to the floor, slide it under the right arm, lower the left shoulder, left temple all the way down. Keep reaching until we feel that stretch or adjust the hips accordingly. The right hand is really just wherever it feels comfortable and it gives you a little bit of support. Okay, let's release. Bring the left hand back to the left side of the body and walk your hands forward on your mat. Let's come into downward facing dog, curl the toes, hips up, heels down, breathe deeply. And on your next inhale, let's take a nice big step forward with the right foot, come into our low lunge, check your alignment. We want knee over ankle, hips are down and forward. When you lower your hips, 
if that knee then comes ahead of the ankle, we need to make adjustments. So either adjust the right foot forward or wiggle the left toes back. Okay, so we want maximum length through the left hip flexor, through the right inner thigh by dropping our hips down as much as possible. Okay, so if that changes the alignment, we need to adjust. Breathe deeply here. Excellent, let's gently lower the left knee, flatten the top of the left foot to the mat if it's not already there. And now let's take our right foot and walk it out towards the right edge of our mat. Okay, so move it away from your body. Take your right hand, pick it up, and bring it inside the leg. We're going to move into lizard pose, so let's take an inhale. As we exhale, we're bending our elbows in towards the chest so we can lower our chest down towards the mat. So it's kind of hard to see, especially with my dark pants on. So I have my right foot on the outside of my right hand. I'm bending my elbows in towards the torso, lowering my body towards the floor next to that foot. Now, of course, I'm cut off, <laughs> sorry. But we're working on bringing one or both forearms down to the mat as well. So it'll intensify that stretch through the inner thigh, through the opposite hip flexor. Our head and neck should be relaxed. So generally looking straight down towards the mat is the most comfortable for the neck. Let's take one more breath and then straighten out the arms, lift the chest. Excellent. Walk the right foot back in line with the right hip and bring the right hand back out to the right side. Press your hips back for our hamstring stretch, straightening out the right knee, lifting the right toes, fold forward, let your body relax over the thigh. Feel that length now along the back side of the leg. Flex the foot now, so a subtle movement. You're pulling your toes up towards your right shin. Feel that stretch get a little bit more intense in the calf. Excellent, let's walk our hands forward, lower the right toes, and step back again to downward dog. Switch sides, inhale, left foot forward, low lunge. Hips down and forward, find that alignment, left knee over ankle. Breathe deeply, reach back or press back through the right heel, the lifted heel. Open that hip flexor a little bit more. Now gently lower the right knee to the floor, flatten the top of the foot, pick up the left hand, bring it inside the left leg, and then walk the left foot a couple inches over to the left. Take an inhale, exhale, bend the elbows, lower your chest little by little. So you don't have to get the forearms to the mat if they're not happening, that's fine. Just keep the body supported. The triceps will get a little extra work in here if, as long as you keep the elbows pointing back towards your hips. Maybe you can lower one forearm, that's great. That's progress. Breathe deeply. And let's begin to straighten the arms. Lift the left hand, bring it out to the left side. As you walk the left foot back in line with the hip, press our hips back, walking the hands back towards the right leg, lifting up the left toes and folding forward over the thigh.
Flex the foot, toes towards the shin. Feel the stretch in the calf. And release, walk the hands forward, lower the toes to the mat. Let's step back again to downward dog. From here, we're gonna move right into pigeon. So let's lift our right foot off the floor, bend the knee, pull it in towards the chest and lower the knee between our hands. Relax the left leg back, flatten the top of the foot to the mat. Inhale, lift the chest, open it up as we inhale. Exhale, fold forward over the right leg, gently, 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 lowering the forearms, lowering the forehead, maybe to the floor, maybe to one fist on top of the other. Keeping our hips even distance above the mat. So we're not rolling onto the right hip or thigh. And let's lift the head, neck, and chest up. Walk our hands back. Plant the right hand just outside the right knee or thigh. If you want, you can continue to hold pigeon or we're gonna get a little bit deeper into the left quad and hip flexor by turning on the left glute, lifting the heel up off the mat, reaching back with the left hand, grabbing a hold of the foot and pulling it gently towards the shoulders. And let's release. Left hand forward, framing the right knee. Curl the left toes, press into the palms. Let's step back to downward dog and even it out. Left leg lifts, bend the knee, pull it in towards your chest. Lower it down between your hands. Right leg relaxes back, inhaling, lifting the chest. Exhaling, folding forward. Good, lift the head, neck, and chest up. Gently walking the hands back to either side of the left leg. Keep the left hand grounded. Bend the right knee, reach back with the right hand. Pull that foot towards your shoulders. <sighs> Keep breathing. Excellent, release that foot. Sit down into the left hip. Swing the legs around. Plant the soles of the feet on the mat, knees bent. Draw the abs in and lean back. So we're gonna do a little boat pose to work on strengthening the abs. Bring your hands to face the legs, but we're not gripping, all right? They're just floating in midair. And once you've pulled the navel in, we're gonna lift one or both feet off of the mat, keeping the body steady. I suggest looking upwards so we have no bend or arch in the back. It's important to keep breathing deeply here. Keep pulling the abs in a little bit deeper. Excellent, let's release. So bring the feet down to the mat, keep the abs engaged. We're going to roll the rest of the upper body all the way down and then place the palms on the floor. Take a nice deep breath here. Let your spine and your abs, everything relax. From here, we're gonna lift into shoulder stand at your own pace. 
If you'd prefer, you can slide your mat over towards a wall and do a more restorative legs up the wall pose. Or you can just remain here on your mat and hop back in when you're ready. So tucking the shoulder blades under the body for shoulder stand, abs are engaged. We pull the knees in towards the chest, press through the palm to lift the tailbone, and then bend the elbows, bringing the hands to the lower back, stacking the hips over the shoulders, and easing the feet up towards the ceiling. and flex the feet a couple times. And then bring one leg overhead, reach away through the opposite leg. And gradually switch directions. And then begin to gently lower the toes down to the mat, coming into plow pose. And then bend the knees towards the face, lower the palms to the mat, use them as brakes, and gently roll the back down to the mat, lowering the tailbone, and then lowering the soles of the feet. Tuck the shoulder blades under, reach your arms down along your sides, walk the heels in so you can hold the back of the feet or ankles between your fingers. Take an inhale. And on your exhale, press into the soles of the feet, engaging the glutes and hamstrings, lifting the pelvis up towards the sky. Draw the knees in towards one another to engage the inner thighs. Take one more breath and then exhale, hips all the way down. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Keep the knees bent, bring the arms down to your sides, palm side down. Gently lower both knees to the right, keeping your shoulders grounded. And lift the knees up and over to the left. Bring them back up. And we're going to move into our final relaxation. Again, depending how your body's feeling tonight, if you need a little more support for the lower back, you can always keep your knees bent like this. If you want a little length through the inner thighs, you can drop the knees down towards the outside edges of the mat. Or of course, our traditional Shavasana with our heels about mat width apart, legs relaxed, toes turned out towards the outside corners of the room. The upper body should have the shoulder blades tucked under so our chest and collarbones are open. And we can really maximize each breath. Our arms are relaxed halfway between our hips and our shoulders with the palms up. And the muscles of the face are relaxed. The eyes are closed, bringing the awareness inwards.
Bring your awareness all the way down your body to your feet. My toes, feet and heels are releasing and relaxing. My toes, feet and heels are released and relaxed. My ankles, calves and knees are releasing and relaxing. My ankles, calves and knees are released and relaxed. My thighs, hips, and buttocks are releasing and relaxing. My thighs, hips, and buttocks are released and relaxed. My abdomen and lower back are releasing and relaxing. My abdomen and lower back are released and relaxed. My fingers, hands, and wrists are releasing and relaxing. My fingers, hands, and wrists are released and relaxed. My forearms, elbows, and upper arms are releasing and relaxing. My forearms, elbows, and upper arms are released and relaxed. My chest, back, and shoulders are releasing and relaxing. My chest, Back and shoulders are released and relaxed. My neck, head, and face are releasing and relaxing. My neck, head, and face are released and relaxed. My mind is calm, my breathing is even, and I am completely relaxed. Gently bring awareness back to your body and begin to move your fingers and toes. Reach your arms overhead and stretch along the length of your body, awakening it. Take a nice deep breath. And then gently push back up to a seated position. Om Shanti 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 Om Peace 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 Namaste. Great job tonight, everybody. Thank you for working hard. 
I hope you have a wonderful week. For those of you in my Wednesday class, just a reminder, we don't have class this week because it's Veterans Day. Um, so I will see everybody next week. <laughs> have a good one. Good night, everybody.